Hello everyone, my name is Andrew, I represent Galileo Sky Technical Support Team. In our last video we told you about eco-driving of Galileo Sky trackers, which helps to control driving style in real time, thus preventing dangerous situations before they happen, reducing costs in fine and repair services, as well as increasing lifetime of the vehicle. You can see the link to this video in the description. Today we will tell you how to create the system step by step. First, I will tell you how to calibrate the tracker, then how to find required parameters in the vehicle, and most importantly, how to create EasyLogic algorithm so that the tracker can work automatically according to a certain scenario. After the tracker is installed, we need to calibrate it. For that we use command shock0 and set the vehicle in motion. Calibration length depends on the intensity of accelerations, break-ins and turns and can take from 30 minutes up to several hours. After the calibration is finished, the tracker will start sending driving style parameters to the monitoring software. For that, in the configurator tool you need to access the settings protocol tab and choose the driving style parameter for main packet. Next step is finding required parameters and their limit values. Data like the steering wheel position, engine speed or headlight status can be found in the canvas of the vehicle. We provided link to the video of how to work with CAN scanner and how to find such parameters in the description. You can connect any number of external devices to your taste, like passenger counters, fuel level sensors and so on. The more parameters you control, the more functionality you will get. Now let's look at the algorithm. In order to unlock access to the engine, we check if driver's card is attached. For that we use standard RFID reader connected via one-wire interface. Trusted keys list is stored on the microSD card. Once the access to the engine is opened, we check if the safety belt is fastened. For that we either create a safety belt sensor via discrete analog input or find the corresponding value in the vehicle canvas. If the safety belt is not fastened, the system will play a sound notification. Fasten the seat belt. You can find information on the file's format and the speaker's connection in the description. During the next 30 seconds, the driver can turn on the ignition, otherwise the engine will be blocked again and the cart will be needed to be attached again. After that, the system starts checking one by one the acceleration, braking, sharp turns and exceeding speed limit. You can set your own limits for each of the parameters, depending on the vehicle characteristics and the project requirements. We applied general limits that can be applied for average motor cars. All acceleration values arrive in millimeters per square second. Speed value is set in kilometers per hour. If the driver exceeds any limit, the tracker plays audio file and creates an extra point with violation data, and the dispatcher gets a notification. After applying the settings and loading the algorithm on the tracker, the system is ready for use. If you have any questions left, you can write them in the comments section below. And like, share and subscribe to our channel to get notified about our upcoming videos. Bye everyone!